Welcome back, everybody, to some more Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. Forgive them, hatred blinds them. I actually was um, looking around for some item, items, the leader items, sold like some stuff. No, I weigh a lot less. I weigh 114 pounds. I'm all that P90X, whatever. I actually found the way to the place of power, which Cedric, not Cedric, Cecil. Cedric was the guy who died like 38, 50 billion parts ago. But yep, found it. Cause I remember this specific part because last time it took me like an hour to find where to go. Because it's right in front of your face. It's right on the edge of the entrance, entrance of Virgin, Virgin, Virgin City. Those mushrooms, do some shrooms. So look, I don't like that. So glad there's no alligators in this game. I don't do heights. I don't do the uh, depth of water. Base, 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 jumping cannon. I'm going the right way. Who's that? Are these good guys? I want to talk to them. Oh, the bandits. Oh, well, fuck you too, buddy. Karma, ironic. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll tell Dick. I'll take that. I didn't even speak English. I speak Gaelic. Oh, yeah. I guess it is official now, I can say that. I've been doing the whole, oops, but my mic, pop filter, fuck you. I guess it is official that I've been doing YouTube for one full year, even though this is the end of January, I should have said something last week. I just made a complete circle. Oh, I know where to go. Yeah, I said this before that I started that second week in January, like a week. Come on. God, Geralt. I started that second... Yeah, like second week of January last year, 2013. Uh, Alright, let's see. Pretty mad. I guess I go through this way. And my first video... My first video on YouTube was actually about Call of Duty MW3 when they have the share thing or whatever. Alright, I'm getting pissed off. Where do you go? Oh my god, fuck me upside down. I don't know where to go. Oh, okay. He just got... He can't jump up here. I just saw something. Oh, there we go. What the freaking Google search? I can't believe it's up there. I can't even get it. Wait, hold on. Let's go all the way over here. The bloody heck. Whoa. Yeah. 
I'm going the complete opposite direction. Oh, fuck it. We might as well. Oh, what the hell? God, Jesus, they gave me a heart attack. I am the Beast Slayer. I am the one who kill monsters. And Chinese food. What's that? God. Just say uncover corpse. There we go. How many more can there be?
You wanted to discuss something. I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer, but still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it were stronger. You know what this means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Mm. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philip claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago, this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab, 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edder. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later, very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dun Banner, but that was only the beginning. Selkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Selkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Selkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, 
as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire had covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies, only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwenny sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Did you see the duel between Selkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once at a jousting tournament in Ard Kareg. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the whole of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet. He's a lying dog. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths. Refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhard claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. I need to get inside the harpy lair. No chance. I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Henselt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days, and I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. <laughs>